Hello everybody, this is gonna be my advanced tutorial for chapter 5. I'm gonna try to talk a little bit faster just so I keep it like precise because this chapter has a ton of stuff that I decided to skip in the beginner friendly one. So first off here you wanna side jump, jump into this wall. The annoying part is that you gotta jump and you cannot hit this round part really, you gotta like land the wall run here. And then if you kick glitch from that, you can land on top of this invisible wall here. And to achieve that you need to wall run on this for a little while just so that the kick doesn't, doesn't go too far. This can be quite tricky when you're just learning the game. That is why I left it for the advanced. Uh, some people like to stay up on this. That can help you a bunch. Stay up on that, kind of. That way you kind of get a better view of the wall. Just roll on top of this. Uh, takes a bit of practice, and once your sidesteps are good, this trick gets way easier. But yeah, it, it's a trick that even I sometimes just miss. So it's one of those, those kind of deals. Right, sidestep, jump along, kick glitch, sidestep into that kick glitch. Who's there? Just bars. Uh, the only thing differently that I do here is usually sidestep into a wall boost on this one. Uh, sidestepping into wall boosts gives you up. Just a really good wall boost, basically. Although that was pretty bad. And then I like to kick glitch from about the back tire of this. <coughs> and that'll just get me across the boxes. It's about the same as just jumping into a wall boost there. Right, so this elevator clip. Once again, with an elevator clip, you just want to practice it from the... Uh, from, like, the door frame here. So, like, you hit the button, you get about here, and then you do it. And I already talked about it <coughs> in one of the previous chapters, but what you do is you just... Try to get yourself wedged into the corner with that turn jump, and then just scroll. Don't try to go too early with the scrolling. And remember to drop off, otherwise the elevator will push you back into it. And if you run here, while this isn't loaded, you can just pop up on top of this. And yeah, it's the best to run in between these two boxes, because you can't actually fit there. So if you're in between there, it'll always pop you up, or just somewhere along here. That's where I usually go, just looking like this. Also, you can do the elevator bounce, which I might just add to the end of this video. Uh, I can, like, try to explain it in detail. It's a thing I can't really explain while doing it, because it's quite hard. Uh, so what happens whenever the elevator lets you out is that for the one frame, the game lets you jump anyway. So if you have a free scroll mouse, you can, like... While things are loading in, and according to the game, you're still in the elevator. You can, like, go around, take speed, and then you gotta time it so that you're just, like, running off of this. And just dropping down here. And then you get the jump with the free scroll. Then you land on this, you wall run. You got a wall jump out of that into this wall. 
And then you get a pretty precisely time turn jumping again into this. And then you can just infinite wall climb. Like, there's a bit of space here to infinite wall climb. It's just quite hard getting the timing right for this. I might actually just add it in between here. Right, so there you saw that uh, swag swag elevator climb strat. Out of that, you just get here. Right, so uh, new friendly, I recommended doing this. Here you can do two different things. You can run up on this, turn into this thing, and kick it off of that. Like so, but that one I don't like at all. The hitbox is really wonky, but just thought I'd mention it so somebody could do it. But yeah, on that one, what you want to do is just uh, take a bit of distance to it, jump from far enough into it. And try to keep the angle straight-ish. Otherwise, you really easily get the uh, get the animation. Also, if you go too close to the pipe before trying to kick on it, you'll get stuck on the crap. You don't want to jump from too far away, though, either. Otherwise, you'll always get the really slow grab. So just try to find the distance. And yeah, remember, always with poles, you wanna like jump past it and kind of turn into it because of the base being broken. And turning into things makes <coughs> makes you m miss kicks like this. Like, if you're missing kicks like this, you really gotta just turn into the walls with your camera. Right, so if you want to be a little bit frisky here, what you can do is um, double kick glitch here. And I guess I should mention the strat that Rek uses, which is to ignore that kick glitch there and just get on here, jump, hit that very edge of that thing. And do that. I, for whatever reason, suck major dick at doing this, so... I'd rather do the double kick glitch than this, to be honest. But... Probably if you give this, like... A solid 20 minutes of practice or so, you'd be able to get this easy. Which... I should probably do as well. But yeah, I, I, as long as you're killing enough height, you'll not get a roll here. Right, or if you want to be really risky, you can uh, key glitch on this corner. Now, the corner is a little bit away from the wall, and that's what makes this double key glitch not as hard as some double key glitches are, but it's still pretty hard. So make sure you're kicking on the ledge, and then just key glitch again. And as you can see, I don't have to time it like super carefully with like just one tick. Although I did it that time. That's like maybe two ticks from the mouse wheel. But yeah, it's not too difficult. And usually if you fail it, you can just drop down some way. I need to find a better backup for myself though. That I would actually use. Because I keep on just... If I fail this, I'm just like, ah, oh, 
I'll just drop down. If you drop down, you get a checkpoint right there. But it's kind of shitty because you start with a white screen, a white screen, <coughs> so you can't move at all. Right. So then you do the same thing here. Ah. Uh, couple of different ways in the elevator shaft. Uh, what the wreck does? Jump on this, and no, <laughs> that's what I do. Jump on this. Wait on the queue, and you wanna grab the upper ledge. Alright, so what you wanna do with this strat is you just wanna boost and then uh, queue as soon as you hit the wall. And then wait on the queue. And then out of here, you wanna grab this. If you grab the lower one, you can just get on to the next one. Given that this strat only saves about half a second compared to what I do. Uh, if you do this wrong at all, you waste time. That's why I didn't keep with this. I might add it back in at some point though. Alright, then just uh, don't aim too hard with this one. So you want to try and grab this so that you can just... Instantly vault it like that. What? So yeah, that's what you want to happen. Why does that keep happening? This shaft is really weird. But yeah, you want to kind of get... Right edge and then don't aim too far left and that's basically the fastest way the half a second slower way that I do is just uh, wall boosting on that and then side jumping and getting up like that uh, if you can get the faster way working and you want to get a good time go for it if you always mess up with it just try my way for a while and practice the other method later right nothing new at that after doing that key glitch you can do another one right here how I do is this is that I aim for the window the little I guess that's supposed to be a window of sorts I aim for about that. Just get on a wall run on it. And <clears throat> just wall run for a tiny bit. And kick glitch out. Ah, uh, hold on. If you have like shitty height, you might want to. Just not coil, and then you'll grab the. Like, if you do something like that, see yourself up shitty height, you can just get some kind of climb up on top of this vent without risking your bacon. Right. Similar kind of thing, but here you need to. I mean, you could just get up on this and then do it. But if you just set up in this corner, you can, out of that, do the W release thing. Right, and over here, same thing. Uh, here, what I didn't mention is you can go along, go along a little bit to the right, and get some boosts on these, and then springboard that. Uh, the funny thing about that springboard is that it'll actually let you go kind of through the guards. Let me see if I can show that to you. But yeah, there you saw me kind of just go through one of the guards. Even if they're right on the springboard, you can actually activate it from pretty far away. 
And during that animation, like, nothing can really stop you. And you can even get to it from, like... Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. We might go over here. What? What? That trainer and zip lines don't really work well together. Alright, so next up here would be the new Eden Kiklis chain, but I'm not the best at it. Uh but and nobody really does it outside of wreck. I do it sometimes for shits and giggles if I get it or not, but mostly I don't. I'm just gonna try getting it for a while. So basically what you gotta do is drop out of this zip line onto that there. Get a straight kick glitch along this wall. Kick glitch out of that onto this wall. Get a straight kick glitch into a wall run on this wall. And that's basically it. Saves about 4 to 5 seconds or something like that. And to get it, you want to look as far right as you can. And then try... Oh, try. Right, so there you saw me get it. Uh, <laughs> not really worth going for, I wouldn't say. But it's a nice little time save if you manage to get it. Alright, so here's one thing that you should probably be going for, which is this uh, window kick. Why is it not kicking me at all? There we are. And this basically just keeps you with the kind of kick glitch ish speed here. Which is obviously just a little bit faster. And then you get a nice tiny wall boost at the end. So during the war run, you start at like 30, 37 or so kilometers. Then you drop down to about 33, and then you boost out and get back to like 43. Yeah. So yeah, it just keeps you nice speed. Saves about a bit less than a second, I think. But it's quite handy. Also, if you keep... If you like sort of jump into it... It'll actually be easier. Because you'll actually be dropped down below the wall. For just a little bit, so it doesn't instantly give you the wall run once again. So yeah, just another thing to try. So let's talk about the beamer. Uh, so what it is, is that when your wall climb gets you up on this ledge here, it for whatever reason happens during one frame. If you look at that, you can see that massive pop there. If on that frame you manage to hit Q, You will get flung over there. Let me show you just with the Q. Like that. Started from there, now I'm here. Didn't press jump. Other than to wall climb, of course. Uh, so what you can do out of that uh, is basically just jump right there. And yeah, the way it works is basically it keeps the speed it gave you on this frame. 
if you hit it on the right frame. It'll keep the speed. That you had on that frame and it'll like fling you here. And yeah, this can be pretty difficult to get at first. Let's try to... listen to my keyboard inputs or whatever i actually when i first practiced this i made an audio file of my of a successful attempt like i was getting this maybe one out of 20 tries or something and then i made the audio file and i was just listening to it trying to get the rhythm into my head still every time when i or sometimes whenever i feel like i've lost it with this trick I go back and listen to that audio file. Maybe should do that right now. Right. Another thing is you can do this with multiple different kind of rhythms because the uh, only part that matters is that you have the pop there. Thing is though, if you have like a weird rhythm that it might be harder to get the uh, get the climb up like if you hit the buttons one by one you can get it but it's harder to get up basically with the same rhythm every button ta -ta -ta, you can still get the beamer I can't apparently okay whatever point being that you want to like find the right rhythm find the right timing for the last jump and just keep on practicing and yeah once you get the jump you want to just turn your camera to the left instantly or I guess yeah it's to the left when you've Got and turned around. Also, where you do it from is pretty important. Uh, if you try to do it right from the corner, it can be a bit harder to get the climb up. Basically, anywhere within this tile is pretty good. Usually about the middle is the best. There we are. And the way you continue from that is here. There's also another way, but it's actually exactly the same. Doesn't matter at all which route you take. So you just get up there. Around here. And there's also a slightly faster way to climb up this, which is to do it like that. But even I don't do that because there's something weird about the wall climb boost here. And I think especially coming from that angle, it's kind of annoying to turn into. So I'd rather just uh, be able to like coil from far away and then just do the climb up like that. Slide in here. Kick. And yeah, if you slide in there with like a direct sidestep, you keep pretty nice speed on the slide. Do this thing, although I already mentioned this. And actually, is this it? Right. This is the last thing. Cool. So after that, what I, how I do this is I try to land on about this railing, like this bar on the railing. Look a little bit to the right from the corner, and that gives me a slide into the vent like so again the doing it like this is pretty safe and maybe a bit over half a second slower but yeah 
if you learn this way, it's not too bad. Some people like do this from way further away and then coil into it. But things like this happen to them a lot. Not coiling seems to be the best option for at least for me. Right, this is gonna be a long video.